Thanks for checking out this haul video. So this is a purchase that I made around Easter time because Arrow Video through a bunch of suppliers was having an Easter carnage sale is what they were calling it. They had a cool, you know, logo of like a, a killer bunny covered in blood with, with a knife. So it caught my eye. Uh, I believe I saw it on like Facebook um, ads or something like that. So I went through Grindhouse Video, who I've never purchased from before, and made a bunch of purchases because the deal was basically a bunch of films that you could get like 50% off and they were all Arrow. So here's my haul of five films that I purchased and they're all Arrow, obviously, because of the, you know, the deal. Um, almost all of them are Giallo. All but one are Giallo, which people, you know, some people may be rolling their eyes. Some people are probably saying, well, of course, and some people are probably like, oh, that's cool. So arrange. Um, cause I'm big into Giallo, but the last one that I'm going to reveal is not Giallo, not Giallo at all. And I'm excited to reveal that one. Cause, uh, it's one I've been thinking about getting for a bit, bit now. Cause I read about it in Rue Morgue magazine. So anyway, the first one I got is a Giallo film is who saw her die. Now this one is by Aldo Lotto. And I'm not only have I heard that this is one of the better, um, Giallo films, but also Aldo Lotto did it, who also did Short Night of Glass Dolls, and I really enjoyed Short Night of Glass Dolls, so if you haven't watched it, definitely watch it. It's on Shudder at the moment still when I'm when I'm doing this review, so very interested to check out another Lotto film. So I'm excited about that one, Who Saw Her Die. The next one is also, almost all of these are on lists that I've found of like the better Giallo films. So this one's by Luciano Ercoli, who I think uh, the only other film I've seen of his that he did was Death Walks on High Heels, which I did a review for recently, and I thought it was really good. Uh, and that is The Forbidden Photos of a Lady Above Suspicion. Now, um, not only have I read on you know an online list that this is one of the good Giallo films, but um, it has been recommended by at least two people that I know. So interested to jump into this one. Now, I'm not reading descriptors of what these films are, like the synopses on the back, but I will for the last one because I already know what that film's about because I had read about it in Rue Morgue magazine. But for these, I want to go in blind and know that any of these, everything you're seeing here, I will be watching and doing review videos on. So there you go. So The Forbidden Photos of a Lady Above Suspicion. The next one is a Sergio Martino film, and I've seen a bunch of Sergio Martino films Enough that I actually created a whole playlist on my channel for reviews of Sergio Martino films. So this one is The Suspicious Death of a Minor. This is another one that's been brought up numerous times to me, not only on lists online of gr the great uh, Giallo films, but also word of mouth. Some, some people have actually said So I'm very interested to get into this one. I've particularly liked what Martino's done, such as The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward and the scorp uh, scorpion with two tails. So that's cool. Now, if you've watched enough of my reviews, you know that I love Edwige Fenech. I am all about Ed Edwige Fenech. So there's one film that's been on my list to get, and I finally pulled the trigger on that because it was part of this deal, and that is Strip Nude for Your Killer. Also, I just recently listened to the review, uh, or I'm sorry, the interview that Eli Roth did uh, with Craig Sienga for uh, Eli Roth's History of Horror. They released all those interviews as uncut interviews as a podcast, and it's just called Eli, Eli, uh, Eli Roth's History of Horror Uncut. So I listened to his interview portion of it, and he talked about Giallo for a bit, and he brought up Strip Nude for Your Killer. Now, that wasn't the first time I'd heard of this film, but it made me even more excited. It brought it into the forefront of my mind, and I'm like, I'm going to buy that. So stars Edwige Fenech. I want to own every Edwige Fenech Giallo film, so this crosses that off the list, and I'm very excited to get to this one. So that brings us, that closes out the Giallo. That brings us to this last film that is not Giallo, and this is one that's by um, Brian Trenchard Smith. I've only seen one film by Brian Trenchard Smith, and that is Turkey Shoot, which is on Shutter at the moment when I'm doing this review. Highly recommend it. It's very, very entertaining. It's wacky. It's over the top. And The Kills, I'll do a review for it at some point because I need to rewatch it, but The Kills 
get better and better throughout the film. So just trust me, check out that film. Now, I read an article about Brian Trenchard Smith and his career in Rue Morgue Magazine, and it sounded really interesting, especially because not only did they touch a lot of the his filmography that sounded interesting, but he put out a book and I, I can't remember the full title. I think it's just called my, my career in B movies, something like that. But it's basically a book that Brian Trenchard Smith wrote of just his experience making crappy low budget films for, you know, decades. And apparently it's really funny because he has a lot of kind of anecdotes about things that happen with certain films. So I do want to get that book at some point and read it because it sounds really awesome. But anyway, when I was reading through some of the films that he's done in the Rue Morgue, one of the Rue Morgue articles on him, I came across this film and I was like, that sounds nuts. If I can get my hands on it, I need to. That is Dead End Drive-In. First of all, that's a cool cover. That looks awesome. That's exciting enough. Now I'll read what it says in the end. Are on the back. One of Quentin Tarantino's favorite directors, okay, that, that's another plus, Brian Trench Trenchard Smith was a key figure in the Ozploitation movement, responsible for The Man from Hong Kong, Stunt Rock, Turkey Shoot, BMX Bandits, and dystopian cult classic Dead End Drive-In. Set in a near future where the economy is crumbled and violent gangs pl play havoc in the streets, the powers that be have decided to lure the delinquent youth into drive-in cinemas and keep them there. No longer just a place to watch trashy movies and make out, these outdoor picture shows have become concentration camps for the unruly and unwanted. With its day-glow color scheme, new wave soundtrack, and extraordinary stunt work, Dead End Drive-In is in the tradition of Ausploitation Milestones, Mad Max, and The Cars That Ate Paris. Only very, very 80s. Doesn't that sound awesome? Doesn't that sound awesome? Of all the films I got, I'm obviously very excited about my Giallo. I was most excited about this. Followed closely by Strip Nude for Your Killer because of Ed Wieschvenek. But super, super excited about Dead End Driving. So with that, that ends this video basically. But I want to know, put in the comments, have you seen any of these films? And would you particularly recommend them? Or did I make mistakes? That's one of the things I want to find out. Are people like, ooh, Sorry, you're probably not going to like this one. Um, I especially want to hear from anyone who's already seen Dead and Driving. Am I hyping myself up too much on this film, or should I expect something great? I'm expecting something so awful, it's amazing. Or actually, probably a mixture of, like, looks great and is fun. Probably like Turkey Shoot, basically. That's what I'm hoping for, something like Turkey Shoot. Anyway, thanks for checking this out. Go ahead and put some comments down there. Do me a favor, if you have not subscribed to my channel already please subscribe to my channel. It helps, you know, keep me motivated to do more videos because I'm just doing this for the sake of putting it out there and the interactions I get with people having to do with the movies I'm reviewing or, you know, the halls I'm bringing in, stuff like that. So we can just go back and forth and be nerdy about it. That's the whole point. So I would appreciate it if you subscribe. Also, if you do, please hit the notification bell button and that way you'll know whenever I'm putting up new videos, whether it's a haul video like this or one of my in-depth reviews, one of my no-spoiler reviews, any of that stuff. But I really do appreciate you taking your time to watch this. And until next time, keep it brutal.